Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Starkware and explaining what it is. Now, you might have heard of Starkware before, however, you might not quite understand it. So, in this video, I want to do a full breakdown of what Starkware is, all of Starkware's different products, and show you that you may have even used Starkware before without even knowing it. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. So let's get into the video. Now the first thing to talk about is that Starkware was founded back in 2018, and right now Starkware has a valuation of roughly $2 billion, showing that a lot of people do like Starkware and a lot of people are valuing it quite highly. As we can see, the co-founders of Starkware are down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and these were the people who have been there since the beginning. Now, what Starkware does is it develops Stark-based solutions for the blockchain industry, and Starkware currently has two products, which are StarkX and StarkNet. However, before we get into this, I do want to briefly explain what ZK Rollups and ZK Starks are. Now, I'm going to assume that the majority of the people watching this video already have some background on rollups and layer 2s. However, essentially, Starkware is an Ethereum based layer 2 and an Ethereum based rollup. What this means is that Starkware will compute the transactions off chain, they will then post the transaction data to the Ethereum main chain and post a proof that this computation happened to the main chain. What this means is that it goes a lot faster and it is a lot cheaper because Starkware can do all of the heavy computation off chain and the main chain just needs to verify proofs and store cool data from Starkware. This is essentially what a ZK rollup is. The next thing to talk about is that there are two different types of ZK proofs that Starkware can post to the Ethereum main chain. There are ZK Starks and there are ZK Snarks. Now, as you can tell by the name, Starkware are all in on ZK Starks. The reason for this is because Starks have a couple of superior properties to Snarks. Essentially, there is no trusted setup required for ZK Starks. This removes centralization factors and is overall a little bit better. Now, Starks are also a bit more scalable than Snarks, and Starks are also quantum resistant. This means that if quantum computers ever come around, Starks will be able to fight against this. So, on the surface level, it does seem like Starks are quite a bit better. However, I am no technical expert, and I'm sure other people could debate this topic a little bit better than I could, so I am mostly just taking Starkware's word for this right now. Regardless, let's get into the products that Starkware actually have. Essentially, Starkware have two separate products. They have StarkNet and StarkX. StarkNet is a fully permissionless, decentralized rollup that anyone can easily use. However, you must remember that this is in its early development stages, and StarkX is a permissioned, tailor-made scaling engine that is designed for specific applications that want their own rollup. So let's get into the specifics of each of these, starting with StarkX. Essentially, StarkX is made to be a framework for rollups to build on top of it. This is why it is only application specific right now. Certain rollups with certain attributes can build on top of StarkX if this actually happens to work. Now, the issue with ZK rollups right now is it's really difficult to build a fully generalized ZK rollup. This means a ZK rollup where you can see all of your favorite applications like Uniswap and Aave in one place, and this hasn't been done just yet. However, ZK rollups for specific applications have been done, and most of these are built on StarkX right now. All it is is it's a framework for a team to build its own rollup upon. Now, if we look at layer 2b, there are four key rollups that are built on StarkX right now. There is DYDX, which has $1 billion locked in it, Immutable X, Diversify, and So Rare. These are the big four that are built on StarkX right now, and all of these are application specific. Starting with DYDX, 
DYDX is essentially a ZK roll-up that is for a derivatives exchange. You can use DYDX to trade, buy and sell cryptocurrencies and do basically whatever you want on the trading side of crypto. You can take out leverage positions on DYDX and do a whole bunch of different stuff there. The next thing to look at is Immutable X. Immutable X is specifically designed for buying, selling and trading NFTs on and Immutable X already has a bunch of cool NFTs on it. Diversify is the third largest custom rollup built on StarkX and all this is is a decentralized exchange. Now the last custom application built on StarkX is So Rare, and So Rare is basically a fantasy football game where you can trade football cards and do all of that kind of stuff. I don't know too much about So Rare, however from what I've heard it is quite a fun game to play. So as we can see, StarkX is basically a framework for building ZK rollups on top of it. However, the only issue with this is all of these rollups are application specific. And we do want ZK rollups to have a fully generalized framework somewhere down the line and somewhere in the future. And this is what Starkware's next product, StarkNet, is trying to do. Now, I want to finish off by pointing out a few cool things about StarkX. Essentially, StarkX features a revolutionary technology called Sharp, and what this does is it allows all of these custom-made rollups to batch their transactions together, which makes them all cheaper and all faster, and StarkX has already got an insane amount of use. StarkX has $1.1 billion locked in it, it's done 96 million transactions, and it's done $363 billion in trading volume, which shows that StarkX already has a lot of use, and at the beginning of the video I said you may have used it without knowing, and this is for the individuals that have used DYDX or used SoRare without even knowing that they're using Starkware, which is what I do believe the future of blockchains is. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is StarkNet. Right now, StarkNet doesn't have much use, however, I do believe that StarkNet will be by far Starkware's biggest product, and it's by far the product that I am the most excited for, and I can't wait to try out. StarkNet is trying to be a decentralized and permissionless ZK roll-up, and it is designed for general purpose computation. Essentially, this means that in the future, an individual will be able to go onto StarkNet and start using their favorite applications at a fraction of the cost. They'll be able to start using Uniswap, they'll be able to start using Arbe, and all of these great applications in one space. This is why we would consider StarkNet a generalized ZK roller. It's not application specific. However, the issue is it's very difficult to actually build a generalized ZK roller, and it relies on a lot of advanced cryptography to generate the ZK proofs. This means that StarkNet is in its experimental stage right now. You can't do very much on StarkNet and not that many people are actually using it just yet because of this. However, I do expect this to change in the next six months to one year where we can actually see StarkNet start getting over a lot of this advanced cryptography and release its full product to everybody. Now, an interesting fact about StarkNet is it's not using the Ethereum virtual machine. This means that all of these layer 2s can actually use whatever VM they want, and StarkNet is writing its code in a different programming language called Cairo. Of course, we know that some of the other layer 2s, such as ZK Sync, are trying to build a ZK EVM, however, StarkNet are not going down this path. However, Starkware are actually planning to fix this by creating a warp. What this means is it means that any code that is written for Ethereum on Solidity will be able to quickly and seamlessly convert it over to Starkware's native language Cairo and it will be able to be deployed on Starkware. Overall, I do think that this is a very good solution, and Starkware have plans for actually deploying Uniswap on StarkNet quite soon using the StarkNet warp, which I am quite excited for. Now, if you want to know what you can do on StarkNet right now, there are a couple of specific things. Essentially, on StarkNet, you need to download the Argent X wallet, and this will give you direct access to StarkNet. 
Essentially, there's only a couple of minor things you can do on Starknet. Starknet. You can mint NFTs and you can build NFTs and sell them on Ethereum Layer 1. You can also swap around your tokens on Starknet for a very, very low cost. Transactions are only 10, 20, 30 cents right now on Starknet, which is unbelievably low. However, Starknet plans to develop a lot further than this. Starknet's final stage is considering themselves a universe, a fully decentralized rollup where you will be able to do all of your applications and all of your needs on. I do think that Starknet is going to be one of the biggest rollups and I'm very, very excited for it. One day I expect Starknet to be superior than all of the Layer 1s today. Superior to Ethereum Layer 1, Avalanche Layer 1 and all of these different things as it's going to have very, very low transaction fees. It's going to be fully decentralized and I am very excited for this. I do think Starknet have a lot of work to do before they get to this. They need to start decentralizing their sequences and decentralizing their provers. They need to actually build out Starknet better so they can get all of the applications on top of it. And I do think they will need a token so they can do token incentives and hype people up for Starknet. However, I do believe that all of this will come before 2023. I would expect the end of 2022 for, to have ZK rollups to start taking off and expect them perhaps to start taking off even more into 2023. However, we will need to wait and see. Of course, Starknet or, or Starkware already have their Stark X solution, which is fully functional and very easy to use. So you can already start using them if you do want to try them out. Anyway, this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching the video.